Hey there, card number threes. So in case you missed the post uh, when I did the big reveal, I just want to let you guys know something really weird happened this last week. Oh my God, it's completely weird. Actually, it's never happened to me before. Sometimes we get reoccurring cards that keep popping up, but this was bizarre beyond bizarre. So last week we had three cards, right? In the meantime, this whole last week, I did three readings for clients. So I usually shuffle about 10 times each reading, like I shuffle my deck 10 times before I do my spread. I also did readings for myself, so I probably did three or four readings and I shuffle, same thing, I shuffle about, I don't know, 10 times per one. So almost 100 shuffles of my deck before I did this week's mini reading. Then I shuffled again, then I spread the deck out and then I randomly picked three cards and I got the same exact cards as last week. Seriously. In fact, it freaked me out so much that I thought, holy crap, a doodle. I, ha I have to redo it. Nobody's going to believe that this happened. But honestly, that to me, that would be unethical for me to do that because this is really what came up and this is what my community needed to see. And this card really speaks to you this week in particular on new ventures. So if you got this card last week, just Really pay attention to this energy of this card. This is an important message for you right now because it happens to also be a major arcana. And um, here it is. And for those of you that are new this week, hello, welcome to the tribe. So the death card. The death card for new ventures is interesting because the death card is all about new beginnings, but in a, but in a very transformational way. It means burning away all of your... Uh, either a belief system or the way you've always done things or if you're starting a brand new business it might mean you know really letting go of that nine to five job or the nine to five mentality or or like a belief system that oh my god I'm not good enough whatever it is it means burning it completely down in fact I like the shadowscapes deck much better because the death card in the shadowscapes is a phoenix that's exactly the way I look at the death card. The death card is all about like literally taking whatever it is. It could be a relationship. It could be an old home that you've lived in for like if I had to move from this home, I would be like devastated. It would be a death card for me because I would have to burn down all of my attachments to my home and it would be painful. So that kind of a thing. It's not an easy transformation. So your new venture, whatever it is, you need, you're going to need to burn away something of... Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But you need to, to really transform it, let it die, and then rise up out of the ashes like a phoenix into something much more beautiful, much more free. It's a, an amazing transformation, but it's not going to be easy. So that is your card for this week, my lovelies. And if you like tarot cards and you're interested in learning how to read them, you can join us for my brand new online course called Dabbler to Diva and doors open for the early bird on February 15th. But you can sign up at www.tarotsolutions.ca forward slash Dabbler to Diva. I'll post it in the comments to be notified when immediately when the doors open up because uh, seating is limited and the early bird price is very good. And also it's a beta program. So the price is going to be never this cheap again. So I would love to see you in there. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you loved your mini reading and I hope to see you next week.